Hello, uh, yeah, so this is an old video, but I have gone through and redone it and I uh, kind of just mashed it together because uh, I don't know, I just wanted to see what I did again and wanted to share it properly, uh, better edited. So uh, this is when I uh, attacked my rear end on my Starlet. Uh, I got this car as a shell, as you can see. I'm cleaning it out because it was it was nasty. Um, it I have to kind of say it was kind of a piece of shit when I bought it. <laughs> um, I was really not impressed with my uh, purchase, but hey, that's my own fault too. Um, I also wasn't very impressed with the person that I bought it from, but that's okay. And I plan to make this thing way better. I'm really excited. It's already come such a long way. So uh, here Tyler was helping me, you know, get it all prepped and get everything out just about. Um, I pretty much got it all out on my own. There was a couple uh, things that required uh, his help or expertise. Um, but other than that, I, I did it all on my own. I was pretty stoked on that. Um, yeah, so uh, first things first, I had to get the axles out. Um, which was fun, and I really apologize for uh, that 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 shot. Yeah, I'm so sorry. <laughs> all right, well that's how we get our axles out, guys. Uh, just imagine all the men doing that all the time. It's just as hot. <laughs> so we were living in the bush, uh, pretty far from like you know auto parts stores and stuff. So you really have to improvise out there. And usually improvising means using ratchet straps and trees, perhaps. And a little young four month, five month old lug nut here who thinks that he is going to fix the cars with us and eat sticks with us. Uh, very cute. <laughs> Yeah, so I, I constantly ask Tyler questions, like constantly, um, just because I, I can have doubts in myself pretty often. I'm really good at breaking things, surprisingly, even with my size. Um, so I do like to ask a lot of things before I break something, which can annoy him, but he's really patient with me, which I'm really glad about. Um, yeah, so I cut off the original mounts that someone else put on here. Um, it's a Corolla, an 86 Corolla GTS rear end that was kind of barely put in the back of the car. And the mounts were put in shitty. It was the worst bird poop I've ever seen. And you'll see it soon. Here I'm just cleaning up all my surfaces so I can re-gasket it, make it all nice and fresh, have no leaks, nothing like that. Um, very relaxing doing that now. I used to hate it. I used to just despise it. It was so time consuming. But in the end, it is so worth it to know that your car is practically minty. <laughs> Also beside me here, Tyler uh, was doing an amazing job. He's doing a huge engine swap on this uh, diesel truck that we got from auctions. And uh, as you can see that that stand there is the only thing we had to, uh, as a cherry picker we'll say. It is sketch, but uh, you make do with what you got. <laughs> Uh, yeah, so that was fun helping him just barely or just watching and being terrified um, To be honest though, he is extremely good at what he does so intelligent and uh, He he's gotten much better because we don't have as many uh, janky tools <laughs> We keep leveling up. Let's say <laughs> You have to start somewhere so finally, those goddamn axles are back in. <laughs> God, that's a horrible view. <laughs> All 
All right, so these old mounts are about to come off. I hope I show them in a second here. They are so ugly. I hate picking up other people's work. Oh wait, no, this is this is where Tyler is in a little bit of a predicament, as you can tell. The the, <laughs> the cherry picker is bending. <laughs> Yeah, look at that. Look at that bird poop. Oh, that's horrible. Could you imagine somebody just rocked that and went and drove their car thinking that was okay? Ugh, sorry. <laughs> it took a lot of time to just grind it down and make everything perfect and nice and new and all that kind of jazz. Yeah, so Tyler is using his car here um, to pull the truck forward and uh, the homemade little cherry picker doodad to drop the motor in. And uh, yeah, it, hey, it worked out. He also tied a rope to the uh, structure to a tree uh, for more <laughs> structure, basically. Uh, yeah. So this is what we do in the woods. <laughs> Kids don't take note <laughs> or do. <laughs> yeah, so I made my own mounts from scratch. This is, uh, I think this is my first time, maybe second time doing like some pretty heavy duty custom fabrication. I have no CNC machine. I have no laser cutter. I have no plasma torch. I just have a grinder, many discs. Um, a paint pen, some metal. <laughs> uh, yeah, so I had to fit them, mock them, make sure they're gonna go on correct, uh, which is kind of difficult. Uh, maybe not to other people who are more fluent in this kind of thing, but for someone like me, uh, I definitely had to make sure everything was perfect uh, because I'm putting, I'm kind of retrofitting a, uh, different car's rear end into a smaller car. Uh, a lot of people actually do this, uh, swap, well, maybe not a lot, but a good amount. So, uh, yeah, it's, it's all doable, but for someone who's learning like me, uh, it was a challenge for sure. My favorite part is painting my four links so that I can put them in because it's pretty. <laughs> So I started to weld my mounts onto my rear end uh, and I was really, honestly, I hated my welds. I did not want them to look anything like what they previously looked like from the previous owner. So I definitely kind of gave up and said, Tyler, please do your nice welds. <laughs> while I made my four links pretty again. <laughs> uh, here I'm just painting it. I, uh, I glittered the shit out of that rear end and I'm stoked. So one day if I have it on the hoist when it's running, I'll get another video of it. But there is so much sparkle on this rear end. It just, it fills me with joy. I am so happy about it. I will probably sparkle way more stuff uh, in the future, but uh, this one was pretty cool. <laughs> Anyways, thanks for watching. Uh, like, subscribe, do all that weird shit if you want. Um, it's always fun having people hang out and meeting new people uh, via this platform uh, or even just getting advice from a lot of cool people. Um, once again, thanks. Check out the Miss Creature store. Bye.